Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Confidence is never a question when it comes to wide receivers, and these two are no different. It's Bryant's Cowboys going up against Beckham's Giants. All right, Larry, thanks. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. The return comes from Orleans Darquan. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So the D-line's going to spread out. Manning now on first down. And incomplete to open things up. They were looking for Marshall that time, and that'll bring up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Ten yards still left on second down. Gain of 25 yards. On first down, Manning. Now he's going to go deep down the left. That's caught inside the 20. A gain of 32 that time. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive first interception thrown and that last one that hurts Cowboys getting set for their next offensive series and interesting side note is that because of Hurricane Harvey that greatly impacted Houston the Texans actually went to Dallas and the Cowboys hosted them Houston practiced there did everything there what you love about this story is again it's neighbors at the Des Bryant with nothing but green grass ahead of him touchdown Cowboys Des Bryant, 52 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. The Pro Bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Watch tight end. Four there, four there. To throw again. Manning looking for Shepard deep. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now Manning. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A giant first down, Manning to an open Beckham. Now a first carry for their fullback. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. A gain of three, second down. The end result was brute force on brute force. But think about everything that's going on if you're playing defensive tackle. You're dealing with at least one blocker across from you, trying to deal with him, shed him, and maybe even a second one before you have to try and make the tackle on the big guy. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Manning to throw on third and one. And Ingram holds it in. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take it down to the 40. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So here we go, first and 10 now. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Carry here for Orleans Darkwall. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Manning. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his big target, Brandon Marshall. That'll bring up second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. From the four, it's second and goal. Here's Darquan, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. 
The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. To throw is Prescott. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Cowboys! Bryce Butler, 59 yards. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And now out come the Giants. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. And he'll go out bounds across the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On first and 10, here's Manning. Finds a man with a crossing round. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. Fresh set of downs here. So the D-line's going to spread out. And the tight end goes in motion left. Manning now on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was trying to hit his big receiver, Brandon Marshall. And now it's second down. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. They went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Forced out to his left. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants! Brandon Marshall, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. And he moved left there, Charles Little. Danger play. He didn't throw toward that left side, went over the middle. Got the six, though. Yeah, he seems like the type of guy that when you told him as a kid, don't touch the stove because it might be hot, he touched it anyway. And this one, he got away without getting burned. Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 52 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Hey, hey, hey. 
Ball spotted at the four. It's second and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate it. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. So the fumble recovery, and now Manning. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Randy Gregory. Able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. Now Manning throwing on second down. Over the middle and it's caught. Brandon Marshall. And they'll get him down here at the 23. That catch good for five. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Zebra, zebra. Throwing his Manning on third down. And he's got a man open. That's Marshall. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Throwing now is Manning. Looking for Shepard deep. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. And on second and ten now. again. Manning is going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They'll run with Darkwon. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Manning the throw on second down. He's going to loft one deep left. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, -term memory. and move on to the next. And now Prescott is going to be taken down. He couldn't get away, and that's a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. And an alley to run. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, 
They'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now Manning got to hurry him to the line here. On second down, here's Manning. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Here's Prescott. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. Now Darquan. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Manning the throw on second down. Throws left side complete to Brandon Marshall. And he'll be out of bounds getting it across the 25. It's a pickup of 12 and that'll set up a third down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Here's Brad Wing now to punt it away on fourth down. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They start on the ground with Elliott. And they'll get him down up past the 15. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Good, 
They'll run it now out of the gun. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jonathan Casillas coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Flushed out right, and some room to work. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So second and ten here. Tim carry now for Elliott. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. Prescott on third and two. He completes it to Bryant. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, Hard to get them started again occasionally. A second down throw for Prescott. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. On third down, Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost two, and it brings up four. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. 
And that field goal caps an 11 play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25 yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Manning. Rifling one complete into the hands of Marshall. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. He can hit him underneath now, yeah, can't he? Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defense will give him. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end, and yeah, that'll make it third down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. The Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Again, it's Manning. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. And they're going to try for the fourth down conversion. Manning and the offense staying put. They do go for it. It's Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. So the offense has it first and ten. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. On the run, Darquan. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. To throw on second down, Manning. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. He finds Beckham complete. Manning able to find OBJ there for a Giants first down. I'll give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Evan Ingram, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Giants are an extra point away from leading this game. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter.
Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So we've got a second and five. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Power running by Zeke, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles, and his feet never stop moving? And leading here late, so a chance for the defense to really close out this game if they can halt the offense. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the offense readies for a second and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And the tackle's made there by one of the secondary members. And I can guarantee you, having played that spot in the huddle right now or on the field, they're urging for a little bit more support from the guys up front. I actually remember one game where I hopped over a defensive lineman to make a tackle downfield and realized he was 10 yards downfield. That's not good. That's being driven off the line of scrimmage, and you can't have that if you're going to win a game on defense. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Most players that tell you that night games, while they can be fun, they're really hard to prepare for because you wake up on game day and all you want to do is get to the stadium and let's get going. But you got to bank that fire a little bit and hold it until the evening. It's almost like a Broadway premiere. Got to wait until the nighttime to go out there in front of the bright lights. And boy, has he harnessed himself really well. And now he's unleashing it on the opponents. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. to throw and he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line and now the Giants they get the officials attention and take another timeout that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play and this offense on third down today just one for three thus far they're looking at a third and goal here back to throw and he can't get a throw He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. 
And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Well, now then, it's a big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth. But, Charles, there is still time left for a final drive. Brandon, you know they would have liked to take the clock down just a little bit further, at least under a minute or so. But this was not over yet, especially since they just need a field goal. And New York set to take the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all oh, the time. They don't practice they? it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Marshall. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Caught left side. It's Beckham. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. He's back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a gain of nine yards, and it'll be second and about a yard. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. to the football. It's blocked. Well, what we learned there is not just the defense that can hold the lead. Special teams comes into play, and they keep them in front. Yeah, oftentimes we talk about the offense and the defense. Here it's that third phase, it looks like, that's going to decide this game. Yeah, how many times have we sat in those coaches' meetings, and they always talk about, well, we think special teams, they, that could determine the game, and we walk out, and sometimes, heck, I'll admit, I even roll my eyes. <laughs> They're right. See how big that was? That just changed the complexion. Big third down, a field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. One final try now for Manning. He's going to let it fly. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from East Rutherford.